Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. You can also apply conditional formatting to fields in a report using the Format Editor dialog box. While much of the conditional formatting which we would want to apply can be applied through the Highlighting Expert, we can also specify more involved conditions under which to apply specified formatting using the Formula Editor in the Formula Workshop window and the Format Editor dialog box. So to use this feature, first select the field to which you want to apply the conditional formatting in the report and then either right click on it and choose Format Field from the pop-up menu which appears or just choose Format in the Format Field command from the menu bar or click the Format button in the Experts toolbar, whichever you prefer. In the Format Editor dialog box, click the blue X plus 2 button next to the format which you wish to conditionally apply. So for example, let's say we wanted the tooltip text to change based on whether or not the selected field matched a condition which we are about to set. Click the X plus 2 button to the right of it to invoke the formula editor in the formula workshop window where you can set this formula which if met will apply the selected formatting. So here we're going to do an if then else statement. So first we type the word if in the space and then the field to evaluate which in this case is the summary value of the sum of amount sold. Let's say if that is greater than or equal to 675,000 then, and here we would input the text that we want it to display, such as, good job, and make sure it's enclosed in single or double quotes. Otherwise, which we specify with the word else, what do we want it to say? How about better luck next time? And once again, enclosed in double quotes check your syntax and then just save and close it. Notice that it turns to the maroon X plus 2 and the pencil points upward to let us know that that has been conditionally set. When we click OK then and preview the report we should see the tooltip text appear based on whether or not it meets the condition. And there's an example of conditionally formatting a field. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com/free.